gilded temples, and countless pagodas stand proud on the banks of the Irrawaddy River, which flows through the heart of Burma. Recently open to visitors, Burma remains one of the least Western-influenced countries in Southeast Asia. What will new visitors here discover along the banks of the Irrawaddy River? Perhaps a horse-drawn carriage ride to explore the Bagan Archaeological Zone. Or a stroll through a bustling market where the locals peddle their wares. Or maybe a walk across the Yubain Bridge, the longest teakwood bridge in the world. Burma as a country has kind of been in the shadows of the world. It's a great opportunity to come at a time when the country is moving into a modern era. Stretched across the 40 square miles of the empire. We're looking at more temples than we could possibly count. <laughs> In the afternoon, wander through the stalls of the colorful Neong Yu Market and shop like the locals. Meats, fish, and locally grown produce are brought in daily from the village farms. I think it's fascinating to see how the everyday shopper would come in and get things. I'll tell you, it's exotic. You'll see a lot of things you'll never see anywhere else. Exotic, like the durian fruit, known for its pungent smell. It smells like hell, it tastes like heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Roughly 100 miles to the northeast of Bagan is Mandalay, the second largest city in Burma. Its namesake, Mandalay Hill, offers breathtaking views of the city. Located near its base lies Shuenanda Monastery, once part of the royal palace in Amarapura. It was dismantled, moved to Mandalay, and converted into a monastery in 1880. Its walls and roof are adorned with teak carvings of Buddhist myths. The monastery is the only original teak wooden building of the royal palace to survive the destruction to Mandalay during World War II. Burma accounts for one-third of the world's teak production, and the hardwood is commonly found in ancient Burmese construction, like the Yubain Bridge. It stretches almost three-quarters of a mile over the shallow Thong Feiman Lake and has withstood the elements for more than two centuries. Mysterious and unknown, Burma's warm, welcoming people are ready to meet you and to show off the country that they have worked so hard to build. So built by the people. So they spent almost all of their money. So generous, friendly, smiling all the time, and happy with little they have. So that's, that's how my people are. <laughs>